だけどね。Hi there guys, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this really smart gold text in Photoshop CS4 or CS5. So this is a really simple um, progress to do and it does not take long and it's a really nice effect to apply to your text. So let's get started. So we're going to go to File, New and we're going to set the width to 720 and the height to 440 pixels and choose OK. So now we have this, we're going to hit Alt and Backspace oh sorry, control and backspace to set our background colour black so make sure that um, your foreground colour over here is black to colour this black it's going to delete the lock layer okay, it's just the layer right so I'm going to get the text tool and this font I am using is Cooper STD and it is one that's already installed so um, go check that out I'm using the size black um, sorry whatever this is black and uh, my size is going to be 81 making sure my colour is white so we can see it so I'm just going to type gold so this is a really nice font and it gives the um, type of looks sort of like gold it really goes well right so we're going to get started now um, we're going to go to the little effects down here and um, we're going to choose gradient overlay alright I'm going to make sure our opacity is 100% percent i right, I'm going to reset this to default reset I don't know why, but um, I'm going to choose black to white. What the hell, why isn't this working now? What have I done? Oh, what's happening here? Alright, gradient overlay. Please let me choose it. Yay, alright, sorry about that. Um, so, on this first one here, I'm going to type into here. If you can't understand or can't hear, then these will be in the video description. So, the thing is FF9000. Alright, so we have this nice orange. Now, I'm going to click about here, and I'm going to choose FFF600. Note, no, yeah, just not not. Okay, so we have this nice yellow. Look again, and I'm going to type FFA 200. And okay, and then the last one is going to be um, FC FF not not. So we have this nice yellow, and click OK. So now we have the basics of the the gold effect going on here. You can maybe take this down a little bit uh, it's up to you what you want but I'm just going to keep it how I did it um, and now we need to go and add a bevel and emboss so we're going to click out bevel and emboss and make sure you click so you can actually go on to it right and then I'm going to set make sure the style is inner um, technique smooth depth for 100 right size is going to be 5 pixels and soften is going to be naught making sure the angle is at 110 110 and the altitude of 26 26 so we have this um, this bevel now so this sort of looks like it's popping out a little bit making sure the rest is left the same make sure use global light is on oh, okay so now we are going to add a is it in a glow oh, no wait there um, can't read my notes. I've just done. I literally did this before, and I messed around, and I don't know what I did. Uh, yeah, it is in a in a sorry in a shadow, and I'm going to make these all two. All right, like so. So distance two, size two, angle 110 using glo global light. And then the last one is now to glow, and we're just going to set this to one, and it just gives this little bit around the edge, sort of like where well, that's gone up uh, one. And then that's it. So hit OK. And I'll click away. So now I have this nice gold um, text here now. You can get rid of the outer glow if you don't like it, but I think it goes really well with this text. And as you can show, um, if you just change the text to anything, this this does work nice on most stuff. You know that outer glow doesn't really go with this, but the actual type of um, gold really does work very well. So now we're going to add that little, I I put, just put a little flare in here and it just made it nice so I'm going to go 
create a new um, layer. Gonna go to image, apply image. Where is that? Apply image. Choose OK. And then I'm going to go to filter, um, render, and lens flare. And what I've done is I've got the 105 millimeter prime. So it would have looked like this or something. I just took it to this corner just on the D, like so. And I'm just going to take the um, size all the way down to around 30. Yeah, about 30. And it's 105 millimeter prime. And I'm going to click OK. Right, so now we have the nice effect. And then we need to drag this below of our text, like so. And then on this again, we don't want these bits to be here. So I'm just going to get the rubber tool. Uh, making sure my hardness is on 100%, size whatever you want and I'm just going to rub this out and then this just gets away these these little marks and then this little bit here as well like so oh, I haven't got rid of it and there we are, that is our text guys so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, please like the video, it does help and subscribe, so see you guys Thank <laughs> you.